Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to make 10 cards making the most out of the holiday card kit by Simon Says Tab. This was a limited edition card kit that is sold out now but I'm going to make sure to link to all the supplies separately down below. So let's take a quick look on what's inside. You get 4 sticker wreaths by Little B, a stencil by Tim Holtz, you get a stamp set which is uh, full of sentiments and designs for Christmas, a white prisma color as well as some thread. You also get a pack full of uh, glitter stickers as well as those uh, dimensional trees, a green and a red uh, glitter paper, they have adhesive at the back and uh, you also get some beautiful designs in 6x6 uh, pattern papers, a bag of white glitter, and uh, a paper bag. Now I'm going to open this uh, plastic bag and show you all the different mediums that I, you get inside. Three distress inks, two stickles, one gold embossing powder and two mediums. One is uh, texture paste and the other one is grid paste. And uh, you also get eight different tags, four in this uh, color and four in craft color. You also get a die that cuts out a little reindeer. You get four different little envelopes. You get two card bases for standard cards and uh, one more white one, a big envelope and four smaller ones. And finally you get five different colors of cardstock that I am going to cut in half and score to create my 10 card bases. For my first card I'm working on the brown card base and I'm going to stamp the sentiment. For the sentiment I'm going with uh, the one that says Merry Christmas and all around that sentiment I'm going to embossed some of the tiny little stars. So I'm going to pick them up here and then stamp with Versamark ink. And now I want to add even more stars on my little scene so I'm going to pick some up with my tiny little stamping block and add some all around. Now I am going to apply the gold embossing powder that was included in the kit and I'm going to use my heat gun to heat set everything. To create my little scene I am going to cut out some snow banks. I am using the panel that was included in the kit. This panel was uh, actually is a kind of iridescent and very shiny. I used my lone foam dies to cut out the snow banks and now I'm going to use some foam tape at the back to create the snow banks at the very bottom of my card. On the second piece I am going to double up on foam tape. This is going to give me the ability to have even more dimension on my card. Now uh, as you can see here the snow isn't white and I am going for a more vintage looking card here and pretty much all the cards that um, I made today were uh, more on the vintage looking uh, style and that's because that's the color combo of this card kit. So my base is ready now, all I have to do is to stick the trees. Now these are uh, dimensional sticker trees, I'm just going to try and decide where everything is going to go. And my card is finished. So now let's move on to the second card where I am using the stencil by Tim Holtz. And I love this stencil because not only it gives you two designs, a smaller and a larger tree, but it also gives you the ability to add snow on top. Now I am going to go with my finger dabber and uh, add some ink through that stencil to create the first tree and I will end up doing that three times. And if you notice I am using both the colors, that, uh, the green colors that were provided in the kit and I am mixing them directly on top of uh, the paper through the stencil. So once I'm happy with uh, the ink here I'm going to peel it off and then move the mask next to that tree and uh, create another one. And here I have created the third tree. So I, again I am doing the exact same technique. I'm going to peel it off and you can see how it looks at the moment. Now all I need to do now is to clean the stencil from the ink and then come back again and add the snow. And because this dressing is not permanent, if you add any type of uh, medium on top, such as the ones that were provided in the kit, I mean the texture paste or the grid paste, then uh, the ink is going to bleed through that paste and it's going to turn out uh, pale green. So I am showing you here a great way to overcome this uh, problem. I have used the stencil over the trees and I went over them with Versamark ink which is going to give me the ability to emboss 
with clear embossing powder. So what this is going to do is uh, to turn the trees more shiny, but at the same time it's going to lock that ink on the paper so it is not going to bleed no matter what we do on top. There are more techniques to turn uh, distress ink into a permanent ink and I am going to post uh, three different ways to do so later on today. So make sure to uh, look for that video as well. So now that my, my trees are ready, you can see how nice and shiny they are. I am able to use again the stencil on top and add some uh, texture paste or some grit paste. And um, this time I decided to go with grit paste because it has more texture inside. It's like um, more uh, of uh, the snow texture. And I'm going to use the second design over the big tree. And to do so, I am just uh, making sure that I align the tree trunk and I'm going over it with my spatula. Now, if you are a uh, patient, uh, you have to wait for this to dry before you go ahead and do the next tree because the stencil might uh, uh, make a mess on uh, the page that is not dry yet. But just because I'm not a uh, patient uh, at all, I am going to go ahead and do it uh, directly. And now for the third tree, now I have to be super careful not to make a mess on uh, the other paste, but uh, I just couldn't wait for that to dry and um, it turned out to be okay. So my trees are ready now and uh, you can see how beautiful they look. And all I have to do now is to create my little scene. For that I have cut out again my snow banks and this time out of white cardstock and I'm going to stick it at the very bottom of my card base. Just like I did on the first card. Now I'm applying some powder with my embossing tool because I am going to do some embossing now. Again, I'm going to use the same sentiment as I did in the first card. I'm going with Merry Christmas, which I am going to white emboss it. And as you can see, this is pretty much uh, the same design as the first card that I created, but just with totally different techniques. So I'm going to apply my white embossing powder, heat set it. And I'm going to use my white Nouveau Drops to add some snow. For this card I'm working directly on the card uh, that is red and uh, I'm going to hang some of the ornaments from the top of the card and I'm going to also hang the word joy as if it was an ornament as well. So I'm going to decide where everything is going to go, stick them down I'm also going to go with, uh, don't forget the dot there, and I'm also going to stick uh, two of the bigger ornaments on one side and on the other. This is a very simple design and really quick to make. So after deciding where everything is going to go, I'm going to bring in my tea ruler and I'm going to make sure where I need to poke the holes at the top of the card so that everything is going to hang straight. I'm just going to make a mark at the very top for each one of the ornaments and then I'm going to bring in my cropa dial and I'm going to make uh, three little notches. So I am creating actually the holes where I am going to thread through the twine where the ornaments are hanging from. And I also need to poke some holes at the very top of those ornaments. And now with the help of uh, the needle I'm going to thread through the twine and then tie a bow. I'm going to show you once how I did that and I'm going to repeat the exact same process for the rest of the ornaments. Now as I'm doing that just to let you know that you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. And finally to finish it off I am using my white gel pen and I'm going all around the edges to create some faux stitching. I felt that I needed to create a border that brought everything together with a white on the twine. So that is the third card for today. Now let's move on to the next card. 
For this card I'm going to work with patterned paper, the one with the stripes, and I'm going to die cut a banner. The die that I'm using comes from an exclusive Simon Says Stamp die set that uh, has many different sizes of banners. And I have also cut out a rectangle out of this uh, glitter paper which I'm going to stick at the very center of the card. If you notice, it is slightly smaller than a standard card, so that it leaves a nice border all around. Now at the bottom of this banner, I'm going to stamp with Versa marking the saying from the stamp set that was included in the kit that says Holiday Wishes, and I'm going to white emboss it. And you will see that once I finish uh, heat setting the sentiment, it's not uh, too vibrant and you can't really tell what it's saying just because the background is so busy with all those stripes. But there is a great solution for that. Just go over it with some distress ink and then everything is going to pop nicely. I am going to ink up the edges on the banner and uh, since I did that on the banner and uh, I just have to do the same thing for the the edges of the card so this is going to have the same look and it's going to bring everything together and now it's time to embellish the banner for that I'm going to stick one of those wreaths and I'm going to chop off the top of the banner because it was too wide so now I'm going to ink up the edge again I'm going to stick it at uh, the top of uh, my card. Now to add uh, even more uh, uh, interest on my banner, I'm going to tie a bow out of this red satin ribbon. I'm going to cut out the edges, trim the edges of the ribbon so that it's nice and tiny. And then I'm going to stick it on top of the wreath with some glue dot. And while I was doing this card, Ginger was here, he wanted to say hi, he's looking for that lollipop in the card kit, he gets crazy when uh, he smells things like that. So anyway, I am going to apply some foam tape at the back of this banner to add some dimension and then stick it on top of my card base. Now to add the finishing touch, I am going to use the stickles that was included in the kit and I am going to add some of uh, that on top of the red uh, bubbles that are uh, on the wreath already. This is going to give them some, some shine and it's going to finish off the card. For this card I'm working with the leftover that I have from the previous card, so I'm going to die cut the reindeer out of this glitter paper. I'm going to carefully make sure that I take everything apart. It does die cut nicely, but you have to be very careful as you take apart everything. And now I am going to work on the brown card base. Now for that I want to create a hole and stick the reindeer at the inside of the card, so you get a little window where you can see through. I am deciding where the circle is going to go, but I don't want to cut out the whole uh, circle. So with my T ruler, I'm going to create a line so that I know where I want to cut exactly. So I am going to do some partial die cutting. I am going to place it so that the lines that I have drawn are... Um, lined up with the end of the cutting plates and also notice how one flap of the card is underneath the cutting plates so this is going to make sure that I cut out only through one layer of the card and not both. So this is what I end up having and now I'm going to use my T ruler and my craft knife and cut out that piece. And I end up having that uh, little window there where I can put inside my little reindeer. Now all I have to do is to assemble my card. So I am going to draw exactly where that window falls on the inside. And if you notice, the reindeer is uh, turning his head and looking on the right of the card. So this is where you are going to write the message. And I think it's really cute and adorable since uh, the reindeer is really reading what you have uh, wrote down. Now I'm going to make sure that I erase all those uh, pencil lines and uh, I am going to use again that uh, leftover from the previous card and uh, cut out a little uh, strip of paper. And then from this pattern paper I'm also going to cut out a piece and I'm going to put them at the very bottom of the reindeer in the front of the card just to add some interest and some pop of color. 
I'm going to stick everything directly on top of the card with my tape adhesive, no foam uh, adhesive here. I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess of the paper and then at the top I'm going to stick that uh, red strip of uh, glitter paper. Now I have some uh, more leftover of that uh, glitter paper and on the inside I'm going to add a strip at the very bottom so that uh, I give some ground on my reindeer. I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess and now for the sentiment I'm going to white emboss it. I'm using the sentiment from the stamp set that says have a swell and I'm going to stamp it with Versa marking and apply my white embossing powder. Now with my white gel pen I'm going all around that uh, uh, window and I'm adding some faux stitching which is going to bring everything together since I have a white sentiment on my card. And to finish it off I am going to use some white thread and I'm going to tie a bow. So you see that I used again the same technique like I did in a previous card and created a notch by using my crop dial. So now I'm going to tie the bow and my card is finished. For this card I am working with pattern paper again. I have cut it out to be slightly smaller than a standard card and I am inking up the edges with distress ink. I am going for a very vintage looking card and to embellish it I am going to use some of the images from this pattern paper. So I'm cutting out a strip of paper, I'm going to ink up the edges just like I did for the panel of my card. And now I'm going to stick that with tape adhesive on top of the glitter paper with the green color making sure that I leave a small border on one side. So now I'm going to use my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut it out again making sure that I have again a little bit of that uh, glitter sticking out from the other side. And I'm going to cut off the excess from that strip of paper. And then I'm going to use some foam tape and stick it directly on top of my panel. For my card base I'm going to use the red cardstock and I'm going to stick the panel that I have already prepared at the top with some tape adhesive. Now you can stop the sentiment at the bottom corner of the card. I decided to go without a sentiment for this one. And now it's time to make the shaker card for today. So I am going to peel off some of this uh, glitter paper and I'm going to stick it on top of uh, some white panel. This is a heavy cardstock and just because this uh, glitter paper is very thin, I am going to stick that on top so that it's thicker and nicer to create a window out of that. The die I'm using is by Simon Says Stamp and it's going to cut out three square windows. Now I am going to do the same process that I do all the time for my shaker cards. I am going to apply some tape adhesive at the back, stick uh, my acetate which is going to cover up all three windows and then I am going to use my uh, foam square and create the little uh, pockets. Now for, I am using the glitter that was included in the kit and I am going to apply some with a spoon on all three windows and this is going to end up looking as a snow. It's really great to use this glitter for your shaker cards. Now I have cut out uh, small little images, there is a pattern paper in the kit that is full of uh, tiny little images and I am going to use some of them at the back of those three windows. So here is uh, how all the three windows are looking at the moment with the snow inside and now I am going to use my scissors and chop off all the excess paper. Now I decided to work on uh, the vanilla card base and I am going to cover it up with this pattern paper. Again I have cut it out to be slightly smaller than the standard card and then on top I am going to stick my three windows. Now this is a really fun card. For out of this pattern paper I used my scissors and I have fuzzy cut two Santa Claus. One of the, them I am going to use in this card and the other one I am going to use in a card later on. So I am going to use my rectangle nested dies and I'm, I have cut out uh, this frame. I am going to use some uh, foam tape at the back of this frame and then I am going to stick it directly on top of my card base. 
For my card base, I have used the craft colored card base. I'm sticking it down and then I'm going to apply some tape adhesive and stick the Santa as if he is looking through that window. Now, uh, to add more interest on the frame, I have uh, used my nesting ties again and cut out this uh, frame out of uh, the leftover that I have from that um, green glitter paper. I'm going to stick it on top of the other frame which is going to give uh, more definition to the frame and some sparkle. You always want sparkle on your Christmas cards. And now I'm going to use this uh, speech bubble die. This comes from a very old set by Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment. Now for the sentiment, I went uh, ahead and stamped holiday wishes. And I'm going to stamp it with Versa marking and then emboss it with a red embossing powder. I'm going to stick the speech bubble on my card and my card is finished. Now for this card I'm going to work directly on the card base and I'm going for a tone on tone background here. So I'm going to stamp uh, tiny little images from the stamp set to create some interest on the background. I am doing so with my Versa marking and once I'm happy with all the stamping at the back I'm going to apply some clear embossing powder which is going to give some shine and uh, definition to the stamped images but it's not going to steal anything from the focal points of the card. So this is where I am applying my clear embossing powder. They will end up uh, looking shiny and I didn't bother to stamp at the center of uh, the card because I'm going to stick uh, some uh, things on top. I am inking up the edges to get that uh, vintage look. And uh, then I am going to ink up the edges from the rest of uh, the papers that I have. These are all leftovers from previous cards. So this uh, is one that I have used in previous cards. And uh, I am going to use some uh, foam tip at uh, the back and stick it at the center of my card. And then I'm also going to use this uh, tiny little image. This comes from that pattern paper which was full of little images that I have used for my shaker card, if you remember. I am going to ink it up and I like that it says at the top Santa's list. And I made sure that I gave some movement to that paper, so I have curled up the edges. And now at the center of that uh, Santa's list uh, piece of paper, I'm going to stick the wreath. Now from the pattern paper that I have cut out uh, those Santas, I'm going to use one of them here. So he's going to stay there looking at his list. And this is going to finish off the card. And now for the last card for today, I am going for a very clean and simple look, which is really easy to replicate. So on this uh, scrap piece of white paper, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I tried to match the color of the ink with the color of my card base. So I went with holiday wishes. I'm going to use my scissors and cut out this on a curve. So this is going to be the snowbank for my card and then I'm going to add some uh, tape adhesive at the back, stick it at the top of my card and then create my little scene. For that I'm going to use the stickers that I have uh, left over, those glitter stickers that were included in the kit. So I am creating my little scene by sticking down the tree, the house and a little star. A really simple design but I love the look. So now let's take a quick look on all the cards that I have created, making the most out of the Holiday Limited Edition card kit by Simon Says Tam. And let's take a quick look on the leftovers. Now this was packed with uh, products, so you can see that I still have all the mediums, the ink pads and uh, the stickles. Of course I have uh, some uh, stickers left over. I do have the stencil for many more cards, the thread that I haven't used, the die and the stamps, really great uh, stash builder this kit. I still have some glitter, I have the pencil that I haven't used at all, the tags that I didn't make and the, of course I have all the envelopes and the paper bag. Now I'm going to show you what I have left over from the papers. 
I have some strip of pattern paper, I do have that with uh, Santas and some tiny little images that I still haven't used, as well as one of the panels. So these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel.